全力全開 What's up, JVision fans? This is Philip, and welcome back to another toy review. And today we're going to take a look at Bandai's Yudo Zenkaiser figure. So before we begin, I would like to remind everyone that these videos are not intended for viewers under the age of 13, and we're not sponsored, so please be advised. So again, let's take a look at the Zenkaiser figure. And we're also going to take a look at the box. So this is how it looks like. Now, as you can see, we get the Zenkaiser figure and the Geertlinger. So let's take a look at the back. Now, this is how the lineup looks like. So yes, they've printed it horizontally uh, this time around. Now, we get, of course, the main five uh, Zenkaisers. And we also have a parts set. Now, for this... Uh, Yudo lineup, you can see here that I only have a box, a single box for Zen Kaiser because uh, this box already has everything that you need inside. And the other Zen Kaiser or Zen Kaiser rather that you can get in one box is Majin. So both Zen Kaiser and Zen Kai Majin uh, are available in single box sets. Uh, and, of course, uh, Majin also comes with their own Geertlinger. However, for the other Zen Kaijers, uh, basically, uh, you know, namely Juran, Gaon, and Bloon, so you need to get two boxes to complete the set, just like a uh, Kamen Rider Sodo figure. And then, if you want their weapons, you need to get the accessory set right here now you can also see that there are open hands Fokusuka. so uh, so anyways there are open hands for zen kaiser actually and then the gray ones are for majin so uh, yeah so these are the accessories that come with the accessory set but uh, anyways let's take a look with Zen Kaiser and what he comes with. So, uh, like I've already mentioned, you get the figure and the Geertlinger, and another uh, thing that, or other things that come with the set. So, these uh, we have here a sticker set as uh, per usual with any Bandai candy toy. So, yeah, uh, you need to put on these stickers, and there is actually a runner uh, that. Uh, basically, that, that's where the hands were attached. So you just rip them off easily and then attach it onto the figure. So now let's go on to the actual figure and take a look at its articulation. So right off the bat, the head moves really well, uh, at least looking up. Now, uh, so I've tried to set the head here uh, at a level position and it can go down very slightly like so. The head can also go sideways, but because of the collar, it cannot go around 360. So the arms can actually be pulled out from the shoulder like this. However, uh, they do not actually pull off. So uh, that's how it looks like pulled out. Now the armor here, the shoulder armor is attached onto the shoulder like so, not onto the main body. So I'm just going to push it back. Now I'm going to lift the shoulder up like so. So this is actually higher than 90 degrees. So the there's actually a joint here uh, right below the uh, armlet. So uh, it can move around. Now this joint actually is quite stiff. So let's look at the other one. Uh, there we go. So the right arm uh, is a bit more loose on that end. I guess this is more stiff. But anyway, so yeah, we can also see the elbow joint. So the hands can turn around, of course. Uh, you can remove them like so. And then, uh, yeah, you can see a bit of a ball joint right there. And put it back. There we go. So yeah, the Geertlinger is attached. Anyways, uh, so the waist uh, can move around like so. Uh, because uh, it has no armors and the belt doesn't actually come off. So it's just molded on there. So uh, there's really uh, nothing that stops this from moving around. So let's take a look at the legs. So uh, here we do get a bit 
of an upwards motion. So that's the front kick. So for the thigh joints uh, that allow this kind of movement. So there we go. You can see it right here, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rolling it around. So the knee bend uh, actually has a greater bend, more than 90 degrees. And for the feet, they're on a ball joint, so they go around like so. And you can see an indentation right there, so that you can also uh, turn the feet like this. And when you uh, pose them on the ground, so they do have a more dynamic feel, or you can actually, uh, you know, have a more stable stance. And another uh, articulation uh, that this figure has is on the cape. So the cape is already attached there, and it has this hinge that allows it to flip open like so. Now you have a more dynamic Zenkaiser. So uh, I don't really need the open hands for this, although, yeah, uh, you could get a more dynamic uh, figure with open hands, but... I don't think that's necessary. So here, right, I have this Zen Kaiser figure, but it got me thinking. So, you know, uh, I'm actually going to talk about the differences between this guy and the uh, Zen Kaiser uh, Change Heroes figure, which came out earlier. And uh, strangely enough, I don't have that. But for comparison, I do have here two Kaiser. So I left him in katana mode because uh, I never bothered to change him back. And you can see that they are of the same size. All the articulation points are the same. The difference is this guy doesn't need any stickers at all. This guy has stickers. And the same can be said for the Zenkaiser version of, uh, or the Zenkaiser figure for the uh, Change Heroes series. So another Change Heroes figure that I have here is Zenkai Joran. So yeah, uh, you know what? Since uh, we're already on the topic of uh, the Yudo and the uh, Change Heroes, so. Again, with the Zenkaiser figure already out before, uh, which one would be better? Uh, like I've said, they have very much the same articulation, but uh, you know, they have the same proportions. They are basically of the same mold. And, uh, you know, given uh, the things that I've said uh, just now, uh, why would you... Uh, choose this or why would you choose the change heroes version so uh, obviously uh, the main different one of the main differences is the stickers you have to put stickers on this one and for the change heroes just like I've shown you guys with uh, the two Kaiser and uh, Juran you don't need it you don't need stickers at all however for Zen Kaiser's uh, Change Heroes figure, you cannot do this. The cape on Zen Kaiser uh, is removable, but it's just stuck on the back like this. You cannot do this. And the uh, Zen and Zen Kaiser's uh, Geertlinger, uh, the Change Heroes version, is just a plain piece of white plastic at least with the stickers you can put more detail onto the geertlinger to make it pop out and the stickers on this guy are actually shinier than just the gold paint now you can see here he has uh, the, this gold paint uh, right on the antenna right on the v-fin uh, on the ch across the chest uh, now, I would say the focus. Anyway, uh, yeah, the symbol on the chest, uh, it's optional if you really want to stick him on. Uh, but yeah, so the at the back, so you can see this gold part. 
So this is actually a sticker. At the front, it's painted. And I noticed the difference right away because the stickers are like brighter and shinier than the gold paint itself. Well, at least uh, for the Change Heroes version, yeah, it's more uniform. But I don't know. Uh, like, the colors just pop out more with this guy. Like, the red, for example, I think uh, it has a brighter shade than the Change Heroes figure. So, like, it looks more alive to me. So, yeah. But again, like for the articulation, sure, the they're the same thing. But one thing that made me consider getting this is the price. So this Yudo is only 450 yen. And the Change Heroes series, at least for the core 5 Zen Kaijers, I got this guy for 1,320 yen. Well, uh, at least from where I got that. Uh, at least the store where I got them from. But the suggested retail price is actually about 1,500 yen. So at least the, when I got this one, I got it cheaper than the intended price. But still, for a fraction of the Change Heroes or the Core 5 Zenkaiger Change Heroes figures, like you get one third of the price but you get you get basically the same thing but this is just talking about Zenkaiser so uh, let, what about the other Zenkaisers so are they worth getting now uh, like I've said earlier uh, Zenkaiser and Zenkai Majin come in a single box and they come with their own Dirk Lingers the other Zenkaisers uh, or the, the other Zenkaiters, rather, they need to be in sets of two. Like, again, the Sodo Kamen Rider figures. So you need to spend for two boxes to just com to complete just one Zenkaiger. At least uh, for Jiran Gaon and Bloon. And the accessory that they have is only their own geared lingers. So you need to pay extra to get the accessory set. Now, at least for the uh, Kikainoid Zenkaijers uh, here, right? So we have Juran. So this Zenkai Juran does not have a shield. Uh, at, at least the Yudo version does. But this guy can transform. If you want to see it, uh, go check out the link in the description. But these Zenkaijers... Do not, I repeat, they do not transform. This guy can. Now, I'm not really sure about uh, Zen Kai uh, to Kaiser, but uh, I, I'm, ass I'm assuming that uh, you get only the Zen Kaiser or to Kaiser figure. Maybe the gear Dillinger uh, gun mode is included, but if you want the sword mode, for example, and the rest of his armor, you'll need to buy a separate set for that. So yeah, uh, by the way, I'm quite snippy right now. I am, I'm fine. I'm just a bit snippy, but uh, nothing serious. Don't worry. Anyways, so yeah, that's Zeng, uh, that's to Kaiser's uh, change heroes. But again, verdict for uh, this <laughs> somewhat uh, of a debate. Now, uh, do you want a Zenkaiser that is Yudo or the uh, Change Heroes version? I would say go for this one. If you're only aiming for Zenkaiser. Uh, or, yeah, if you want Zenkaiser, then just go for this one. Again, you have a gear linger, the articulation, uh, the, they do the same thing basically. The cape can is more dynamic with the hinge. So for the other Zen Kaijers, uh, I actually recommend the Change Heroes more than the Yudo. So for two Kaiser, uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do with him yet. So 
uh, is it going to be better? But I think there are going to be some uh, accessories. Let's say, for example, the head can be replaced because you can see this is uh, 35. So any time that uh, uh, two Kaiser transforms, uh, the number on his head also changes. So maybe they do that with the Yudo version. But uh, so far, uh, with because I have this, I feel like I don't need to do that anymore. But yeah, Zen Kaiser, uh, I would say go for the Yudo instead. It's cheaper. Uh, sure, you do have to. Uh, put on some stickers, but I guess that's uh, basically the con of this guy. And anything else? Yeah, uh, they're the same. Uh, also, this is much cheaper. Now, uh, we can see here uh, his only accessory is the Geertlinger. Now, I have here uh, another accessory that, well, I borrowed from a different figure. So, we we have a Ryuso can from the Yudo Ryuso Red that I took. So I'm going to stick it onto his right hand. And yeah, fits perfectly. So now we have a Zen Kaiser that uh, is based. This is actually accurate. So it happened in episode 5. So you see here, he now has two accessories. So if you have like older Yudo figures and uh, you want to equip those weapons onto uh, Zen Kaiser, at least on the hands, uh, sure go. Uh, so yeah, I have a Zen Kaiser that is actually quite accurate for episode 5. <laughs> so yeah. Now, uh, I just remembered something that, you know, uh, I probably should have done in older videos, uh, which is actually showcase more of the uh, articulation, showcase more of the poses. So what I'm going to do is, if you click down in the description, there's going to be a mini gallery of uh, Zen Kaiser, uh, you know, in various poses. So check that out. Uh, yeah, I should have done that with the two Kaiser and Juran as well maybe but anyways uh, yeah go check it out i will have a uh, mini album for uh zen kaiser so you can see him in action and uh, there's also going to be a special appearance of another figure uh so yeah uh stay Stay tuned for that. <laughs> so go check it out in the link in the description. So anyways, uh, yeah. So to judge this, by the way, so uh, so the final rating, I would say this is a good uh, 4 out of 5. So uh, the stickers are there. Uh, uh, the cape is exquisite, so yeah. Uh, but I wish they could have just included the open hands as well. Uh, if, like, rather than uh, selling the selling them in a separate accessory set. So, yeah, I mean they're just two small pieces, and you could fit them in here. You could have fit them in here. They could have been fit into this runner. I mean, come on. But uh, nonetheless, yeah. Uh, at least, uh, it's still not a watered-down version of the uh, Change Heroes uh, figure. But yeah, uh, go for this one because it's cheaper and uh, you basically get the same stuff. So yeah, 4 out of 5, good enough. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please do leave a like, comment, share. Subscribe and don't forget that notification bell so you get the latest from J Fusion. Thanks for watching. This isn't this has been Philip and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.